New tonight, creative or inappropriate? As the primary election approaches, a candidate for Miami-Dade County Commission is raising money for her campaign using an OnlyFans account. That's where many go to charge for risque and even nude photos. For Martha Bueno, OnlyFans is a means to an end. She wants to beat an opponent who's raised more than a million dollars for his campaign. Here's CBS 4's Joel Waldman. I've been looking at your numbers, and you have some really big ones. That's what she said. Donations, of course. You're looking at dirty politics redefined in the age of the Internet. Nobody's heard from you in the district. I hear you've been a really bad boy this campaign. Martha Bueno, a libertarian candidate for Miami-Dade's District 10 Commission seat, taking aim at her Republican opponent in the most sexually suggestive of ways. I thought you were a Republican. That's so kinky. What a naughty boy you are. Bueno, all bueno with using the wildly popular OnlyFans website where 130 million fans pay for content, often sexual in nature. I'm not that girl that's making the $3 million a month at this point, so trust me, it's not a whole lot of money. But so far, her 50 subscribers paying $4.99 a month for her three relatively tame videos could become invaluable in grabbing attention away from her well-funded opponent, businessman Anthony Rodriguez, who's raised more than a million dollars more than Bueno with the help of the GOP. The whole purpose behind that video is how I can show people how dirty politics really are. Rodriguez also happens to be Bueno's neighbor. He didn't answer when we crossed the street looking for comment, but another guy from the neighborhood did, former street fighter and current UFC star Jorge Masvidal. So what do you think of that? That is uh, <laughs> marketing 101. Holy smokes, huh? You told me only fans. I'm thinking, here we go. The, the classic, you know, bathing suit half off this. The Republican-leaning fighter endorsing Bueno for her brains, calling it a knockout move. That was pretty, that was pretty damn clever. Creating a new sort of political fight, which might be difficult to beat. Joel Wallman, CBS4 News.